Good morning and welcome to the Black and White Messages. This is Matthews George from the First Baptist Church of Blythe here in California. Many of us would like to think that our moral commitments are unshakable, but in reality they are not. We would like to think that our devotion to God is unwavering, but they are not. That what God says is wrong will not be attractive to us. That's not the case. A wandering heart is part of who we are, and the battle is constant. There is this wonderful hymn which is titled, Come Thy Found of Every Blessing. Even though I'm not much of a singer, I love these words. And it goes like this. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, Lord, take and seal it, seal it for the courts above. The truth is that we are all vulnerable to a wandering heart. It's not just the big temptations that comes like a tsunami once in a while, but the daily struggles of our life that ignites the wandering heart in us and leads us in ways that contradicts our beliefs. You know, Christians sometimes believe that their biggest problem is the fact that they live in a broken world with flawed people who bring trouble their way every day. That they live in a world that is not operated in the way God designed it and as a result of which they are facing all kind of problems. Yes, even though the world is flawed, but the loving God has put us here in this world for a reason. And according to the Bible, the great difficulty is not that we live in a broken world, but sin still resides in our heart. It still alters our thoughts and attitudes. So the less perfect people that live in this world the temptations around us, the flawed world we live in are problems for us because we have a problem in our heart. Instead of loving our neighbors and praying for them, we hate them and look for their destruction. Instead of looking for peace that Jesus gives, we think that we could achieve peace by a change of government in Washington. Folks, it is humbling for me to realize that it is often the sin inside me that gets me hooked on to the sin outside me. Here is where I would allow the Holy Spirit to do His work in me. And I hope this message would be enlightening to you too. Have a blessed week.